Oh, hola. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are we today? I am literally just sitting outside my gym while I'm on the Gold Coast, and I'm just about to go in, but I was just driving here after having had a beautiful lunch catch up with one of my long-term friends that I met online due to my online world. Love that. I love making new friends that love food as much as I do. Hey, Sherry. Um, and so what I was just pondering, perplexing, I had a guy just before up my ass, I know that's a weird thing to say, up my ass in the traffic. And uh, if I hadn't have looked back behind me, hey, Sue, hey, Melissa, hello, guys. So I was literally stuck in traffic here on the Gold Coast, and I'm driving along, and, and I'm a pretty fast driver. Like, I'm someone who's like, when I get from point A to point B as fast as I possibly can, and y'all get out of my way. And what are, <laughs> this guy, like, it was coming out to a divide. Anyway, short point of it is, is he got really shitty at me. I could see in my mirror. I looked back, and I could see him cussing and swearing, and I know I'd done nothing wrong. Nothing. I have nothing to feel any em empathy about whatsoever. And this dude had literally, hey Charlene, and this dude had literally come up my ass and absolutely cracked the shits. But what I realized is that it's my awareness that really holds the key as to whether or not that affects me. So, we actually have no idea what the people around us are thinking, but because I noticed it, it was then in my awareness, I then got the gut churning feeling like I should feel bad for something, even though there was no reason for it whatsoever. Funnily enough, I know in the past I'd be really triggered by that. Hello, everybody saying hello. Um, I'd be really triggered by that in the past, and I would have been like feeling obliged to be like, I'm sorry. Even though I have no idea what you're upset about, you weirdo, psychopathic, scary person. But what I've noticed is if I can allow myself, hey Charlene, if I can allow myself to set myself up in the morning to be at a higher vibration, to be at a higher energy. So I've been here catering on the Gold Coast. I do private chef catering for very specific events, um, not for all of them. And um, what I've noticed is that I got up in the morning, serviced the girls, got them their food and whatnot. But if I don't take the time, hey, Stephanie, if I don't take the time to set myself up in the morning with a good ritual, and what I've been doing here is spending a couple minutes quickly doing some yoga, quickly doing a 10-minute meditation while the girls are flustering around me. But if I didn't do that, if I don't do that, I find myself so much easily in... So I'm not great at English, so much more influenced by those around me and the perceptions of what they're thinking and feeling. So if we don't take the time in the morning to set ourselves up with a rock solid foundation of emotions and equilibrium of our energy, of our perspectives and of what we think we're about, then others are able to influence us far too quickly and far too effectively and knock us off our perch for lack of a better word and so when we when we aren't settled within ourselves and this is something I've battled for so long and I'm sure some of you can resonate thanks Jason you love it thank you yeah so you know it's hi Margie hello beautiful so it's like when we aren't setting ourselves up to sit on our perch because you know what a perch got give, got, has been given a bad name it's like a perch is like y'all got tickets on yourself or y'all got like shit going on that you think you are better than others but it's not your perch is like your perspective zone it's your platform to gain perspective on the day the life how everything is what's going on and where you fit and what your obligations are to your inner happiness and equilibrium and then how you are going to go on and affect others around you i know we're getting into quantum stuff now but how your equilibrium is within you is how you're directly going to affect a mirror into other people and they're going to perceive you so had i not set myself up had i been past shana shana back there i would have either gone i'm sorry to this dude who was just flipping his shit over nothing or instead i was like the guy's like shaking his head at me and i looked him in the eyes and i was like like i don't know what you're on about mate like your energy loss if you want to focus energy on this and that's your perspective and that's fine and you stay in your car and i'll stay in my car and that's just fine but i would have felt so much more in the past which then would have you know what happens do you know what happens when we do that when we allow that shit to affect us it ripple effects through the rest of our life when we allow other people's perspectives and bullshit to affect our own energy and equilibrium, we're then opening the floodgates for a whole clusterfuck of shit to start getting in our way and affecting our own day. It is your responsibility to self-regulate, to self-check and set yourself up first thing in the morning. It's like a teaspoon of cement with breakfast. How can I stay on point, on check with my energy zones and how I'm showing up and how I'm letting others affect me, which then allows how I'm affecting others? 
So it's your self responsibility to ensure that every single day you wake up and set yourself up so that you know that when others come into your space, you can stay balanced. You know your power. You know your strength. You know your mission. I was on the way to go have lunch with a girlfriend, so I didn't give two hoots what this dude was getting in a cluster of energy over. Um, and I and I just was so proud of myself. And I, I hope this is just giving you guys a bit of food for thought. That's all about food with me. Um, giving you some food for thought about, you know, Am I allowing other people's BS to get in my way and knock me off my perch of my perspective of the world? Because you have a God-given right to have your own perspective of the world. Because when you maintain and hold your own perspective of the world, then others around you realize that they're free to do the same thing. Do you see how this is like a ripple effect that we have responsibility to? You have responsibility to check yourself before you wreck yourself, to allow yourself to shine, to be whatever it is that you are, and know that you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart, the greatness of your being, and everything that you were born to be, and so much more. So don't ever allow someone else's BS. Just whenever someone triggers you or someone comes up with their own stories, allow that to be. Respect them where they're at and leave them where they're at and just continue on your merry way because you know that you've got greatness. You've got other things, more important things. I had a beautiful girlfriend to catch up with and that's where my energy was going, was going to being so happy, so joyous and so grateful to have the moment in time with a special friend of mine and not allow someone on my way there to knock me off my perch. Does that make sense? I hope this isn't causing you any indigestion because I'm just flowing with it. But, you know, doing a due diligence first thing in the morning, set yourself up for an equilibrium that allows you to float through the day, the ripple effects to come off of you into other people's lives and just watch the magic happen. Just be a little bit more present on how you are in your day. Watch your thoughts and make sure you watch how you are showing up and whose energy you're allowing into your experience because that will affect the people that you then next go on to meet. That's self-responsibility. Anyway, time for me to go train. I'm at the gym. Social proof. Jim, Jim, Shana. Leg day yesterday. Chest. I had one of the girls. I literally had to get one of the girls to help me do up my zipper on my, on my shirt this morning because I actually can't reach behind me. I love that feeling. Might mean that I'm a narcissist or something like that. I don't know. But um, time for the gym. Leg day was done yesterday. I'm not going to be able to walk tomorrow. Mm, thanks to my girlfriend for giving me a new leg session. Uh, but it's back day today, and then I'm back to Brisbane. Who's coming to Gary V tomorrow? Yes! I've, there's a surprising number of you that are going, and I'm so grateful for that. It's going to be an amazing event. And it's my partner's first ever event like this. The man is 47 years old and has never gone to one and has his own beliefs and perspectives over what he thinks it's going to be. Mmm, I'm so excited to pop that shit. Uh, and pop his cherry and bring him into the real world of, I don't know, awareness and awakenedness and growth and like life is for living stuff, not stuck inside of a box and perspective and expectations and the media and oh my god. Anyway, I'm excited. Love you all. Bye.